ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಚಿತ್ತ ಕುಲನಂದನ ಕಲ್ಪವಲ್ಲೀಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗರಾಜ ಹರಿಚಂದನ ಯೋಗ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಕ್ಷಮಾಂ ಕರುಣೆಯ ಕಮಲಾಮಿ ವಾನ್ಯಾಂ ಗೋದಾಮನನ್ಯ ಶರಣ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಅನ್ನವಯರ್ ಪುದುವಯಾಂಡಾಳ ರಂಗರ್ಕ್ ಪನ್ನು ತಿರುಪ್ಪಾವೈ ಪಲ್ಪದಿಯ ಇನ್ನಿಶಯಾಲ್ ಪಾಡಿಕ್ಕೊಡುತ್ತಾಳ್ ನರ್ ಪಾಮಾಲೆ ಪೂಮಾಲೆ ಶೂಡಿಕ್ಕೊಡುತ್ತಾಳೆ ಶೊಲ್ಲು ಶೂಡಿಕ್ಕೊಡುತ್ತ ಚುಡರ್ಕೊಡಿಯೇ ತೊಲ್ಪಾವೈ ಪಾಡಿಯರುಳವಲ್ಲ ಪಲ್ವಳೆಯಾಯ್ ನಾಡಿನಿ ವೆಂಕಟವರ್ಕೆನ್ನ ವಿಧಿಯನ್ನ ಇಮ್ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾಂಕಡವಾ ವಣ್ಣಮೇ ನಲ್ಗ ನೀಳಾ ತುಂಗ ಸ್ತನಗಿರಿ ತಟಿ ಸುಪ್ತ ಮುದ್ಬೋಧ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾರಾರ್ಥ್ಯಂ ಸ್ವಂ ಶುತಿಶತ ಶಿರಸ್ಸಿಧ್ಯಾಪಯಂತಿ ಸ್ವೋಚ್ಛಿಷ್ಠಾಂ ಸೃಜನಿಗಳಿ ನ್ಯಾಬಲಾತ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ಭುಂಕ್ತೆ ಗೋದಾತಸ್ಯೈ ನಮೈದಮಿದ ಭೂವೈ ಭೂಯ ಏವಾಸ್ತು ಭೂಯ ಇನ್ರೋ ತಿರುವಾಡಿ ಪೂರಂ ಯಮಕ್ಕಾಗ ಅನ್ರೋ ಇಂಗ್ ಆಂಡಾಳ್ ಅವತರಿತ್ತಾಳ್ ಕುಂದ್ರಾದ ವಾಳ್ವಾನ ವೈಕುಂಠವಾನ್ ಭೋಗಂ ತನ್ನ ಈಗಳ್ದ ಆಳ್ವಾರ್ ತಿರುಮಗಳಾರಾಯ್ Today is the day of the 22nd Pasharam. Today's song is Anganma Nyala Tarasar Abhimana Bhangamai Vandhanin Pallikkattil Kije Sangamirupar Pol Vandhu Talai Peidom Kinkini Vai Chayda Thamarai Poo Poli Shengan Chirit Chiride Yemmel Viliyavu Thingalum Nadittanum Yelindar Pol Angan Yirandum Kondi Engal Mel Nokvudiyel Engal Mel Shabam Yelindel Orem Pavai Angan Manya her group have secured entry into the lord's chambers they stand at his court with folded hands and continue their entreaties she says o kanna we have come to you just as the kings in the past came to you we stand not at your headrest but at your feet we stand here in all humility she uses the words abhimana bhangam we are fully free of pride or arrogance all of us jeevatmas tend to have so many different kinds of pride and delusions that come in the way of our krishna anubhavam the delusion that the shariram and the atma are the same the delusion that the jeevan is swatantran or independent believing that we are servants of deities other than lord shri man narayana believing that paths other than prapatti and bhakti will also lead to moksha the list is truly endless just as the kings prostrated by placing their heads at your feet we too pray to you in a similar way vandu talai peido here we recall an incident in the mahabharata before the start of the war both arjuna and duryodhana were rounding up allies to fight on their respective sides and ended up going to krishna's palace at the same time duryodhana enters first finding krishna asleep he sat at his head waiting for the lord to wake up arjuna also entered but had the wisdom to wait at lord krishna's feet as soon as lord krishna woke up his gaze first fell on arjuna and he granted arjuna his wish first being arjuna 
asked that Lord Parthasarathy accompany him into the war, even though as an Irayudapani. Duryodhana, true to his nature, asked Krishna for his army. We all know where that ended. Andal beseeches Krishna to open his eyes that resemble the half-blossomed lotus, similar to small kinkini bells. As Narayana Tirtha says, he is Rajivaksha Ghanashyameti. He is described as Kamalasati, Kamalasati, Mukha Kamala, Kamalahita, Kamalapriya, Kamalekshana, Kamalasana Hita Garudagamana, Shri Kamalanabhani Padakamalame Sharano. In fact, in Shri Madramayanam, Dasharatha refuses to send Rama with sage Vishwamitra saying, My child's eyes are like lotuses and therefore close when the sun set. Hence, he is not the right warrior to fight Asuras who are completely nocturnal. The Lord's eyes are described with the words, Tingalum Adittanum Mirindarpol. They look like both the sun and the moon. They have the brilliance of a hundred suns and the cool comfort of a hundred moons. As Annamacharya says, Nallani meni nagavatsu pulavadu, tellani kannula devudu. The Lord with sparkling white eyes. Andal says, don't open your eyes only with the sun-like brilliance. We will wilt in the scorching heat. At the same time, please don't open your eyes with cold glances like the moon. We might freeze in this margari cold. Please open your eyes in a balanced manner such that we all might live and prosper. Yengal mail shapam. Here, shapam does not necessarily mean a curse. It is the sins that we all carry with us from birth to birth, Sanchita, Prarabdham and so on. She declares that we can only get rid of all these sins if and when His grace falls on us. <laughs>
சிறு சிறிதேயம் மேல் விழியாவோ செங்கன் சிறு சிறிதேயம் மேல் விழியாவோ 